Now, the shutdowns affected the entire U.S. Let's take a look at some of the key sectors that have been the hardest hit. Now, over 380,000 U.S. government employees have been granted leave of absence and not being paid at all. Around 420,000 U.S. government employees are working without pay. Also, tens of thousands of contractors who rely on the U.S. federal government but are not full-time employees are not being paid and are less likely to receive arrears. U.S. federal contractors could be losing a combined $200 million per day. Also in the January jobs report, most of the workers who have been furloughed will be counted as unemployed, affecting the unemployment rate as well. The Food and Drug Administration has stopped some inspections of food items, including fruit, meat, seafood and vegetables, with nearly 50% of the FDA staff off the job due to the shutdown. Some agency employees worry about the safety and health of the American public. Now, pending company mergers are being slowed because the Securities and Exchange Commission is not fully staffed. It could adversely impact the American economy. America's Justice Ministry has asked for a delay on a lawsuit that could invalidate the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, under which millions obtain health insurance. A program that provides food assistance to more than 7 million low-income pregnant women, new mothers and young children has funding to last just through this month. Also, thousands of Secret Service agents are working without pay, putting America at the risk of security lapses. Now, border Patrol agents are still working but without pay. Some Border Patrol officers have sued the Trump government over the missing pay. About 41,000 active duty Coast Guardsmen who are working without pay and are unsure when they will see their next paychecks were told that they should consider having garage sales. Now, wildfire prep work and firefighter training have also been halted as several thousand U.S. Forest Service workers are furloughed.